Hi everyone and welcome back to a new episode in the Smart Home series. Today we'll be checking out a variety of great home kit accessories to make your smart home better. Kicking things off with the Camera Hub G3 from Akara, which is a smart home control center that has a 360 degree camera that at the same time looks like a cat. Let's get this thing unboxed and check it out. Inside the box we've got our USB-C to A cable, a nice little power supply, a very nice documentation and user manual and last but not least we have the cat camera itself and if you don't like this cat aesthetic which i personally really dig you can also remove this cover now let's get it installed first things first place the camera and let's connect it to the power with the included power supply and usb-c cable once that's done we can head over to the akara app select the camera and provide our wi-fi network information and this time around, it supports 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi wi network. Connecting. What's very cool is it displays a QR code that you just show to the camera and we're ready then. We can then proceed to add the camera to HomeKit, which was guided through the Akara app. And once that's done, heading into the Home app, our camera immediately displays. And what's very cool is the responsiveness is really, really good. And we can use the Akara app to explore the various functions it features such as cat and dog tracking, and this works really well. And this is a test of this little cat camera and hub of the video and audio quality. As you can see, this is during evening hours, and I think the quality is actually pretty good. I'm using it right now here on this little app, and you can see here it's detecting me perfectly fine, doing some tracking, the camera is moving around, which is pretty cool. And what do you think of the quality? Let me know in the comments below. Last but not least, the camera also has IR included. So this is the footage in night mode with human tracking enabled. And I was quite impressed how brightly illuminated everything was with the night mode. Now let's take a look at the Akara Smart Radiator Thermostat E1, which is absolutely great if you're living in Europe and you have radiators that have these valves this is really cool because it has a really easy installation and a really good compatibility. As you can see inside the box, we have a variety of adapters and the radiator valve itself. And this has a really cool backlit display. So let's get ahead and install it. First things first, we'll need to remove our old one and pull this little tab to enable the batteries inside. Then we can start screwing on the radiator valve Depending on your radiator, you might need to use one of the adapters. Then we can triple click to start the calibration process. Once it's calibrated, it's already ready to use. But we of course want to make this thing smart, so let's open up the Akara app and add an accessory. We'll need to use the gateway, which is our camera hub. Then we'll need to press the radiator valve for 10 seconds. And once that's been pressed, it will enter pairing mode and the app already detects that it's ready to pair and does everything for us. Now we can just select what room it's in and we're already ready to control everything via the Akara and Apple Home app. And in the Apple Home app it shows up as a nice thermostat tile we can turn things on and off and of course change the temperature here which immediately updates it on the actual thermostat. What's also really cool about this is it supports geofencing, has Matter and Zigbee support, and rounding everything off, the thermostat has a one year battery life, which is really great since you don't need to constantly replace the batteries inside of it. Now what about things that aren't smart yet? This is where the Aquara wall switch H1 comes into play. The wall switch will let us make any lamp smart that isn't already smart. And this is really cool since it's a very high premium build quality, has a dual gang switch and also has power monitoring built in. So you can replace any dual switch you have in your house and easily control any normal lamp either via the switch directly via voice assistant or of course via the home app. And another really cool accessory I recommend is the Philips Hue dimmer switch. This is always useful when you don't have a socket or a wall where you can mount things and you just want a little remote to control all your smart lights with. 
I absolutely love these little remotes. I have them spread around the house everywhere. I love that they just magnetize onto places or adhere. And even outside I've got one placed and it's been fantastic there for the terrace lights. And what's pretty neat about them is you can configure multiple actions so double clicks can control different scenes and all in all it's just a really handy and practical little remote. Now coming to my favourite home kit accessory this would be the Smart Video Doorbell G4 by Akara and this basically covers everything that you need in a smart home doorbell. It has a really sleek design, comes with angled brackets, easily mountable and has one of the probably the best installation processes I've experienced in a doorbell. It has no wire requirement and recalls really crisp, high quality video. It's fully supported in HomeKit Secure Video, you get little push notifications if you have an Apple TV and it also supports displaying the video feed on Google Nest home screens. Apart from the great video quality, the video doorbell also has a form of battery life and a built-in IR for very good night vision. And overall, I think this is a really nice, well-rounded HomeKit Secure Video doorbell that has a no-fuss installation and I can absolutely recommend it. And with that, we're at the end of the video. What was your favourite HomeKit accessory? Let me know in the comments below and do you have any other accessories I haven't covered yet and you'd like to see me feature on the channel? Feel free to leave a comment and if you've liked this kind of video, make sure that you subscribe to never miss the next upload. See you in the next one and thanks so much for watching.